Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Lincoln Corsair. There are a lot of changes for this year, not just on the exterior, but also in the interior. There are two additional colors. There's a new jet appearance package and a new engine option. So lots of changes for the Corsair. You may remember way back when as an MKC, there's been two reiterations since that, and I'm really impressed with what they've done because it really needed an upgrade. We have reviewed the 2022. You can check that out on our channel. Let's get started with the front and some of the changes and we'll work our way around. We'll show you under the hood, we'll show you inside, and then we'll take it for a test drive. One thing you're gonna notice right away is the larger front grille is the same styling. And this pattern here is actually the Lincoln logo. You can see by the shape of it. You'll note that it, this has got the jet appearance package. So that's gonna be blacked out. You've got black trim and detail here, LED lights, same signature lighting. Our test vehicle rides on 20 inch alloy wheels. The lower trim levels will be 19 inch. These are all season tires. Coming along to the side of the vehicle, you're going to see that it looks pretty much the same. There are three trim levels that are standard, touring, and reserve. This also has a jet appearance package, which is an option, as well as the two new additional colors. Warranty is three years, 36,000 miles, and two years of complimentary maintenance. Coming around to the back, you've got your upper wing with your integrated third brake light, that Lincoln logo all the way across the back, your wiper blade, which I wish was tucked up. Maybe we'll see that when they do the next change. But in the meantime, you've got LED taillights all the way across the back and signature lighting when you approach the vehicle, as well as puddle lamps. Very nicely done and very classy. It is a Lincoln, so they want to make sure that it has that prestige to go with the class. This is the entry level Lincoln. You'll see across the back, you've got nice matte black, which is actually good when you bring luggage and things into the back of the car so you don't scratch up the vehicle. You've got your exhaust pipes here, really nice and clean. And remember, there are two engine choices, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. The very clear backup camera is excellent. It's not just a round view, but a backup camera. You can zoom in as needed and move those cameras around to get what you need to meet your needs. Overall, excellent backup camera. Not all the vehicles in this category have this type of clarity. When it comes to seating, there are 24 way adjustable seats. The adjustments are no longer on the side of the vehicle. The adjustments have been moved to the door and there are massaging seats as an option. The seating is really comfortable. The side bolsters are nice. It's true leather. They've done a really nice job with these seats and they come heated as well as ventilated. The second row has some really nice seating as well. Comfortable seating. They do slide back and forth six inches and there is an adjustment on the back of the seat to go back six inches as well. Therefore, it will be really nice for fitting those two child safety seats. This vehicle seats five people. As far as leg room, there is pretty good leg room in this Corsair. There is nets behind each of the seats. Behind the center console is two stage heated seating, as well as ventilation and additional charge ports. In the doors, you've got more storage and that Revel audio speaker right there. The center console pulls down, these seats split 60-40, and there are two cup holders. There are some upgrades to the interior of the Lincoln Corsair. I'm really impressed with that. Let's get started with the 12.3 inch color cluster. It is redesigned, but you can change the information in front of you. And when you go to each level, there's also additional information by using the down arrow on the right. You can change the different information you want. You can go back. And then in addition to each screen, you can make your changes, including changing whether you want a tachometer, you know, what information that you want in front of you, what's important to you. Really nicely done. I do love this red and black or gray interior. On the side, there is your trunk and your headlights. Really nicely done. Clean, modern, real materials. The center screen is 13.2 inches and has the SYNC 4 technology, which is an upgrade. It also has high-end technologies with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the Revel audio system. Now this is the home screen and you can set it up any way you want. Now you've also got the ability to go right to the different uh, features here or see now I don't, I don't want that. That's not what I want. I'd like to have audio system. You have that there. You can connect your vehicle. 
Your settings are right here, and that's also really easy to use. Very nice, you can set it up per key also. Display driver seat vehicle hotspot, which is the Wi-Fi connection, and Lincoln personal assistance, as well as Amazon Alexa, ambient lighting, and a valet mode. Really nice, very nicely done. Going back, you also have your features right here. Features would include your driver assistance features, which is what you see in safety. You can change that. If that's not what you want, you have your owner's manual right there. There are a lot of different apps, also Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There are additional mobile apps, including My Lincoln. My, you can make your phone your key, which I think is really great. Lots of nice features that have been added to this vehicle and they are standard, which I think is really important. Don't forget, you can also change the side screen to whatever you would like. And on the hybrid, it's just slightly different. It'll show you whether you're on the electric mode or on the gas mode and how efficient you're driving. Here's your heated seats, your temperature controls, which I find interesting. They're just a finger touch here. Uh, heated steering wheel, and then all of your controls here along the way. Further down is this beautiful red interior. I love red leather, it's my favorite. Personally, let me know your favorite color interior down in the comments. You've got your start stop button here. Your shifter is right along here, nice and clean and integrated, I do like that. And then of course you've got all your other controls, including my favorite one to shut off the auto off system, saving me maybe a tablespoon of fuel if I use it. Further down you've got your charging pad for your wireless, really nice clean materials to hide all this, as well as additional two charge ports. This is your drive mode, so you just turn it to the direction you want, whether you want snow or normal or conserve. Two cup holders, I'm just putting junk in here for now. And then of course, your parking brake. Inside the glove box, you have additional storage and more charging ports. There is a gigantic panoramic roof, as you can see, it moves back pretty quick. Bringing in all the outdoors, that's step one. There's step two. A beautiful day here in the Buffalo area, so I might as well leave that sunroof open. One of the things that's important to note is that you can adjust all the safety here as well. Safety is standard, and that's one of the major pluses with this car. Not every one of the vehicles in this category offers all this standard safety. And I think they call that Active Glide with Lincoln. It's going to be called Blue Cruise down the road. There's a lot of nice features that are standard when it comes to safety in this part of that Active Glide package. There's a reverse brake assist, the cross traffic alert, which I think is super important when you're back. As a matter of fact, you want to make sure that is on because that is one of those ones that if you don't have cross traffic alert and you're backing out of a parking spot, that's how accidents happen. Blind spot information, the rear camera delay is nice to have. There's a lot of little things that they've added into this vehicle. Pre-collision assist, lane keeping assist, speed limit assist, cruise control, there's auto hold. I mean, all of this comes standard and I think that's really important. All the manufacturers call their different safety features something different, but when they're all included in a package and there's nothing to buy up, that's good for you as a customer. Under the hood are two engine choices. Our test vehicle has a turbocharged two liter inline four cylinder EcoBoost engine, which produces 250 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque. It's offered in standard and reserve trims, and this engine is mated with a Ford eight speed automatic transmission. The optional engine is a 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid setup, which has 266 horsepower combined, has a Ford's constant velocity transmission or CVT, and that is only offered on the grand touring trim levels. The electric range is 28 miles. Level one and level two charging for the hybrid can be done at your home. It's 10 to 11 hours and using a 240 volt level two charger that will drop the time to three to four hours. Vehicles are available in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. There are different drive modes in this vehicle. That drive mode button is here in the middle and you can pick your different drive modes whether you want to be on slippery roads, normal, you prefer to go the other direction and you've got Excite, which is their sport mode. I will tell you right away, I've been driving this for a week and I really love how quiet it is in this interior. Much improved over the previous generation. It handles really well. There's an active suspension in this vehicle so it adjusts with the different drive modes. And that's important. So you're not just getting a comfortable family vehicle. I think there's a lot more added to this vehicle than people realize. You can adjust all, all these controls. The head-up display, huge. We talked about that in technology. It's got a lot of great details. In the sport mode, 
This is not the hybrid. This is the regular gasoline motor. Really like it. Seats are super comfortable. The fact that you can adjust them, set the massage, whatever you need, that's also important. One other thing to note that I think it's missed a lot is on the steering wheel, there is a button here and you can press it and that's your Lincoln setup. You can speak and tell you what it want, what you want to know, whether it's the weather or you want to change a channel or what's the traffic like. So she will reply. I will cancel because she may take a moment here. We're currently in sport mode. Put your foot in it. it takes off. Really nicely done. Considering the vehicles in this category, you can then go to a conserve mode if you're hot fuel economy and get that maximum fuel economy that's available. Obviously, the hybrid would be your best choice in that particular case. And then, of course, there is also the normal mode, which is a balanced mode. So overall, the handling improvements on this car are quite dramatic. There's a lot of things that you can change on this vehicle that you can't change on some of the other vehicles. And I think that's important that you can customize the gauges. Of course, this is the top trim level, and that's going to be a little bit different than if you're buying the entry level. That's true with any vehicle. When it comes to cargo space, there's 27 cubic feet of storage. Underneath this cover is a spare tire, which I do appreciate. I'm not a big fan of the tire inflation products because then you've got run flats, they cost more money. This is something you should be looking for. And if you don't know how to change a flat tire, check that out on our Car Smarts channel and you'll find it there. In addition, you'll find that you can lower the rear seats. In addition, there are buttons to fold the rear seat. When you need to put things into the back, there's also a 12 volt outlet in case you want to do some additional tailgating maybe. But when you put both seats down, you're at 57 cubic feet of storage, which is quite a bit. When it comes to pricing for the 2023 Lincoln Corsair, it starts at $38,300 and goes all the way up to $53,000. Again, that depends on your trim levels, the options that you buy. Do you want the jet package of special paints? All that adds up quickly. Now, there are some pros and cons. On the pros side, I like the performance. Really nice, quiet interior. And the new technology with the bigger screen is a massive plus. Also having standard safety features, that active glide included standard. That'll be called Blue Cruise in the next generation. They're starting to update everything as they go along. It's the same thing, just a different name. Also, as far as the vehicle itself, really nice materials, really well designed. Pretty impressed with the interior. On the negative side, there's something you should note for all the competitors as well, whether you're looking at the RDX, the Genesis GV70, or even the Cadillac XT4. That sloping line that goes along with the style of this SUV means that the headroom could be limited. So you want to make sure whoever sits in the second row, it's going to work for them. Child safety seats, there are two. Like I said, all of that adds up to your lifestyle and what works for you. We have test driven all the competitors in this class. And if you have additional questions about the Lincoln Corsair and all the updates that there have been to this vehicle, put it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. I want you to make good decisions. Don't forget to check with your insurance agent as well because newer cars cost more, lots of new safety, could lower the price actually from whatever you're driving now. So lots of variables involved. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friends. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below in the description, as well as for the website, the podcast, our book, and of course, social media. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully we gave you some good information on the 2023 Lincoln Corsair.